Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on December 19th. Good to see everybody. Welcome back. Ben still following and uh, looking at that gold. I'm waiting, uh, Ben. I'm still waiting for it to go back to 1900. <laughs> I, own, I own it at 1600. I think that was like what, like five, six years ago. I'm still waiting for it to go back. But uh, Grant, uh, gold guy there, he'll let us know when we get there. We're gonna get there soon, Grant. What do you think? Anyway, uh, looks like a lot of you guys are preparing a nice little trip. I see some of you already going to Hawaii. Uh, thanks for the invite. Didn't know that we all were planning going there, but you know, going on there, you know, you're gonna go too. <laughs> Let me tell you, did you like I uh, yesterday? Um, I was reading an article. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but they said there's this big vortex that is coming in the Northeast and expecting it to be like, I don't know, the coldest winter on record, you know, for like weeks. So uh, I don't know. I might have to be joining you. It's going to get pretty cold out there. Anyway, so what's going on in regarding about uh, yesterday? We'll start off with that. But uh, before we do, just a couple of stocks are taking huge hits. What's going on with FedEx and UPS, holy cow! I thought I thought this 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 is the year of of shipping, not the year of sh the year of shorting FedEx. I mean that stock took a nasty hit in the beginning of the month. The stock was almost two hundred and forty dollars. It's down literally down to one eighty five. I'm sorry, one seventy got this just got destroyed, and it looks like it's probably going to go lower um, between that and UPS. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, I want to talk about some big winners. Uh, that we did trade yesterday that did pretty well. Listen, the pre-market has not been the greatest the past few days. Uh, it's the first thing I would have to admit, and I told you this is probably going to happen uh, going into the Christmas, uh, going into Christmas, which is the 25th, and going to next week. And this is perfectly normal. Um, but I did, you know, we do say that there are some things that do push. To, to people have to come out with news, and things will move. Uh, and there were a couple of them that did make some nice moves. First of all, let's start with the B. I C O trade. I mean, felt it wrong. I got a cut on my finger, on my trigger finger, and it's so hard for me to, you know, I keep making mistakes. So if you see me misspell words in the cyber group room or whatever it is, uh, it's I got this really nasty cut on my finger. So anyway, uh, B C the the B I O C had a really great push. Very inexpensive stock. It was one of the stocks that did kind of move in the pre market. Then from nowhere, right the gate. They went from like a buck five over to a buck forty. That one worked out pretty well. SFIX, another one that had a nice little push. The stock got destroyed, a fifty dollars stock down to nineteen. Uh, another pre market push, you know, uh, right at the gate. Stock went from like eighteen forty to nineteen sixty, and then you know going into the close had that last push from nineteen twenty to nineteen eighty. It's a little strong this morning, but I'm not completely sold on it. Only trading a thousand shares. RCII. That was a phenomenal move right there. She's still strong. Remember, that stock got really beat up, and uh, you know, but it did come back. I know some of us did really well on the short, but then she had that really big push. Just be careful with this RCII. If you could see it, how it traded, it had some nasty shakes, you know? Now, a lot of the ETFs also did well. The JNUT, the TLRY, the pot stocks uh, are, did pretty well had that big news that came out yesterday and I think just tanked, but it did come back in the middle of the day. I'll tell you what a nasty roller coaster on these stocks. But uh yeah, the stock went from six eight sixty eight dollars in pre market when that news came out, shot to seventy eight, came right back down to like seventy. But you can see it. Uh and, and by the way, we're not a really big fan of trading expensive stocks. Uh you know there's no reason to trade expensive stocks. You could less risk, more reward. You know the same fifty cents you can make on a five dollar stock is the same fifty cents that's on an eighty dollar stock. The big difference is you need, you know, eighty thousand dollars to do it, and you deal with more experienced traders and it's a lot of risk. Remember, it's one of the biggest things we teach in class, and you know that because we're covering it right now, going into phase one into phase two courses. All right, so that's what we traded yesterday. Now let's talk about what's moving this morning. There are a couple of stocks that are moving. Uh, Neil just says the ADIO is popping right now. Yeah, that's a nice little call right there. I like that. Nice, nice, nice call out there. I'm going to throw that in my watch list. Uh, that's that's there. There you go. There's the team effort that we were talking about while we're part of the team. A-D-I-L. Really good, uh, good, uh, good call out there. Uh, Ted says there's a big iceberg order on the R-I-O-T trade. And you know what? Stock's got a great push. Stock was a 
dollar stock went to 45, right back down to a dollar. Everyone remembers RIOT. We did really, really well on that on this one right here. Uh, why we did really well? Blockchain. You know, one of the blockchain stocks. So uh, blo obviously, you could see those cryptocurrencies and everything got crushed lately. But she's got a nice little push right here. You know, the the RIOT. Remember, we're, we're short term traders, not long term traders. If you were a long term trader, you probably uh, bought a house and went filed. Uh, uh, chapter, you know, chapter seven, you know, in, in, in within before you opened and closed on that house. If you thought you made all your money on this one, this is why we're, this is what makes trading such a very important part of your daily life when it comes into the market. You got to know how to treat these. And listen, uh, RIOT is just one of several that we trade, you know, we, we saw, you know, Elfin, uh, the, uh, you know, dryers, you know, right, Ken? Everybody's like, there he goes, brings the dryers again. Listen, we've been there, we've done that. TLRY, you see they're all there. HMNY, well, I don't know if HMNY was one of the big rallies. I think just tanked, just kept going lower and lower and lower. Very sad that okay, that stock got destroyed. Okay, a couple other stocks I want to put on the watch list. The ZIOP is going to make the watch list uh, after we had, oh, but well, maybe not. You know what? Thing just tanked. I'm taking it off. It looked pretty good in the pre-market. I don't know what happened. I just, I'm going to take it off right now. Things change. The uh, RCII is going to go on the watch list. Got a nice little push. Rent the car. That stock got really uh, beat up, but it came back a lot. You can see uh, it's got major resistance levels at 1450. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Micron Technologies got decimated last night. Uh, stock went from 34 all the way down to 31. Make a little bit of a comeback. We do know that some of these stocks, if they're not pharmaceuticals, they do make comebacks. And then obviously, you know, what we just talked about earlier, just be very careful, guys, because, you know, we're not, I'm not a fan of trading stocks like this. But, uh, you know, $170 stock. But we do have some level five traders here that, you know, that make that average, you know, the, you know, the thousand a day, you know, 2,500. This is probably a stock up your alley. Uh, remember, you got to be a, an advanced trader to trade these stocks because you got to be willing to risk a lot. So if you're not an advanced trader, you don't, we don't ra rarely talk about them. But it, they are going to make the list because what the hell's going on with them? And then you could see UPS, which is more than half the price. Um, that one also is following along with it. Every one of them just getting really killed. So we got uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 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 a lot. That's a lot. And then also, like Grant just mentioned, listen, the Fed meeting also uh, today. So be very very careful at two o'clock. So I don't really think there's going to be that much action in the market. Uh, unless some company like has, has come out with news, what we found earlier, but uh, but let's see how the Fed uh, meeting works out. And then last but not least, guys, today at twelve o'clock, we're doing open house um, today. So you got classes today, you got open house today. Uh, come out there and help support CTU. Let's see if we can recruit some more traders. Let them know the truth, what it's all about. Hopefully, a lot of them realize that everyone wants to trade, but doesn't mean they should. But we'll tell them how it is, and uh, if they like it. They'll be part of the, we'll, we'll see if we want them part of the family. If not, you know, hopefully they'll go back to the old fashioned tradition and, you know, hire a stockbroker <laughs> because, you know, we're, you could really get killed in these type of markets if you don't know what you're doing. In the meantime, everyone, yep, that's it. Build a team. But, um, all right, so I'll see you all back here at 12 o'clock for the afternoon meeting. If not, remember, you got class today, and then I'll see you at the uh, open house, and then we'll, we'll be back. Uh, doing the next meeting at 2.30 uh, to see what's trading on to the close. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.